Matt has a suggestion for first base. Matt, what's going on? Uh, yeah, guys. Uh, so I wanted to call about uh, Jose Abreu. Obviously, uh, as far as the lineup goes, uh, that's the gaping hole that, that we all see. And I just got to say, man, his at-bats are getting more difficult to watch. It seems like by the game, you know, last year it was he couldn't hit 95-plus. And then, you know, last night we're watching him get blown up by 90 uh, and I think the answer is out there, and I'm kind of surprised that Brandon Belt's name has not come up more. Uh, I know he's an older guy. He hasn't been signed, which is a little concerning. But just last year, this is a guy that had a 370 on base percentage. He hit 19 homers, 850 OPS plus guy. Uh, you can't tell me that wouldn't be an instant upgrade over what you're getting from both Singleton and Abreu. And if I'm Dana Brown, and if I'm Espada, you know, bring Belt in. I can't imagine he would cost that much on a one-year flyer. Uh, cut Singleton, let Belt hit against the righties, and I would play uh, Abreu against the lefties and see if you can get some production. But I'll hang up and listen. Thank you, Matt. Uh, Matt, that, I think that sounds like a great idea. All ideas should be explored. Yes. At yes. this point, you can't take anything off of the table. So and anything and everything. And, and I think to, you know, I, I was yelling about what Joe Espada is telling us publicly just a moment ago, but I think to Joe Espada's credit, he has shown that he is more willing to make changes quickly than Dusty Baker was. So stands the reason that that could be something they try. Mm -hmm. it, it, that like Brandon Belt, Lo Profito, um, who's coming up here on the text line and the Twitch, uh, playing Singleton just more often? I don't know about that one. Singleton's a yeah. zero in that spot, too. Like, yeah. I mean... Caratini more. I honestly don't understand why they feel the way that they feel about Singleton because it does feel like Singleton, who's not the most athletic guy either, is legitimately somebody you put in there to stand in against pitchers who don't have great control mm -hmm. because you're hoping that he can draw a walk like he drew in the ALCS before that game five home run by Altuve. And I mean, <laughs> you bring in somebody in to, to stand in there like they're a pitcher in interleague play from the American league. I remember one time Pedro Martinez was at bat and he was wearing his, he was wearing his pitching jacket. Mm-hmm. At the plate. <laughs> now, I'm not saying Singleton's quite that, because you know what he hits it. I mean, it could go far, but he, he doesn't yeah, generally um, put it in play. Uh, King of Twitch brings up uh, CJ Crone. He did elect free agency. He was in spring training with the Red Sox and then ele elected free agency before opening day. So he's another option. Yes. Like, you could tell me anyone. Joe, you could make up a name. I'll say yes. I'll say yes. And then the text line brings up Mauricio Dubon, who explore it. Like you're right. Explore anything and everything. I never yesterday. This isn't gonna work. It's just it's the one part of watching the Astros right now where I just it seems unfixable. And, and maybe that's unfair to Jose Abreu, but it's last not. year we got sold this bill of nonsense that it was a back injury. And that seemed to hold true, right? He led the American League in RBIs the last month of the season before the playoffs. So like there was a bright spot. There was moments of Jose Abreu. And you're like, okay, like we're, we're back on track. But it's to the point now where it is, it's a bigger hole in your lineup than Martin Maldonado was in your lineup. That's how I feel about watching Jose Abreu at the play. <sighs> Yeah, I don't disagree. And like that's at least Maldonado. That sounds impossible. <laughs> at least with Maldonado, you had in the back of your mind whether this is some sort of placebo effect from the things that Dusty Baker and his teammates said. You always had this feeling. Well, the defense, even though he was, you know, not throwing guys out at second base, led the league in pass ball. <laughs> right. The that, two main things of catcher. But defense. there was always a subconscious. Well, there's something extra element with Maldi with a brain. Like, what? What are we talking about the, the, here? The extra element with Maldonado was that because he has a reputation as such a bad hitter that you could just hit him ninth, whereas Jose Abreu won the 2020 MVP. Mm. And so he kind of, he can't just hit ninth. Like they, 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 it, it would take months of this for him to drop all the way down to nine. You kind of have to hit him like sixth or seventh because like, hey, listen, it's Jose Abreu, you know? 
at least Maldonado got the lack of respect of like you will just hit the least amount of mm-hmm. anyone in the lineup. Uh, Desert Straw on YouTube. Oh, that's true. Desert Straw on YouTube. Doobie can do it all. Give him first base on Twitch. This one's not nice. Grinding on coffee and whiskey says put uh, Gilbert at first base. <laughs> no, Gilbert. Drew Gilbert? They no, traded him. No, oh. no, no, no. We're talking about Gilbert, the regular Gilbert, caller Gilbert. of oh, the John lineup. and Lance yeah. radio program. Yeah. Mainstay in Houston Sports Talk Radio. I feel, feel like that's his lane? That is very mean to suggest that he would do better than Jose Abreu. If he just stands there, he might have a better Stop. chance to get wall. That's what John Singleton's here for. Uh, two eight well, from the two eight one. I hate having Dubon waste away on the bench. Dude's got a gold glove. He can figure out first base. I I do agree. The only thing I, Bowen I would pick with Joe Spot at this point was I don't I don't love the uh, playing time for Mauricio Dubon. I'd like to see that increase a little bit. Maybe over the stretch of games where they're playing 13 straight. I'm it'll, 100% in agreement it, with you on that. It'll it'll increase, but I thought we'd see a little bit more Dubon early in the season. And, and first base would be one that it, it, it he's, would he's give a, goal, a shot. He's a super utility guy. Like, I mean, Just, he can't do it. Is he too small? I, I, I mean, that, I guess, is theoretically the reason he hasn't done it. It's difficult to scoop. Well, okay, would you, uh, would you trade... Um, now, Jose Abreu has some good defensive moments, but we know it's not great. Yeah, he, like, he, he's, he's the reason like, the Ronald Blanco no hitter happened. Yeah, he's fine. Like, but like he's a fine, def- but like, he's not thing. Yuli. But he cost yeah. you the Yan- one of the Yankees games because he just didn't play good defense. So let's say Mauricio Dubon is even just a little bit worse. Would you trade a little bit worse defense at first base for Mauricio du- Dubon's bat? Yes. I don't even know how it's a question because the bat's so bad. Right. It's not like we're talking about whenever David Ortiz occasionally played first base for the Red Sox. <laughs> yeah. Which was always a bit of an adventure either. Or, but with Ortiz, obviously, you're talking about one of the best hitters, uh, what best designated hitters ever. Um, yeah. So with, with with Dubon, it's a better option. And you may as well try it. I, I really think that the, the question, Joe, is how long will it take for Joe Espada to realize that he's not getting enough out of Abreu. There has to be an element of patience here. I see some people suggesting DFAing Abreu. No owner is going to green like that. Yeah, I kind of, I kind of, I brought it up a little bit yesterday. But no owner is yeah. going to green like that, especially the owner who is acting as the GM when and one of his two moves was signing this guy. Yeah. <laughs> like you have to, you have to convince Jim Crane to, to say so you're signing. What I mean, honestly, like. The, in that time frame without a GM, it was Jose Abreu and Rafael Montero. It's not not exactly groundbreaking to say uh, probably the two worst contracts that they given out was in that uh, two months that they didn't have a GM. Dude, I, I I would even call Brantley. I'm not even kidding. Nah, a retired guy who's never played first. <laughs> let's let's, nah. let's at least Dude. give Dubon a couple two days a week. Dubon, they just... clearly don't want to. But to your point, I don't think they're gonna bench Abreu without cutting him. How about how about we cut something else? I don't. Know. How about we cut the chin thing? Nah. No, 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 no. Look, like baseball players are superstitious. Cut the chin thing. So maybe no one likes the chin. Just the little ponytail part, right? He can still have a goatee. I'm not saying like grab it like the 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 son of Ken Watanabe's character in yeah. The Last Samurai. I'm not saying like pull it off like to, you know like just dishonor him by mm-hmm. removing his 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 top knot. Sean maybe knows what I top knot it, lifestyle it's is. Very dishonoring. Very dishonoring. But Let's commit seppuku after some of those things. <laughs> like Shogun. <laughs> I I just something's got to be done if. If we're not gonna get Abreu off the field, <laughs> says, at least something needs to be at done. Least, at least encourage him to get rid of it. It's it's not a good look. It's, He's not playing well, and that is I, I'm sorry. That's not that's not a good look to have Jafar's beard from Aladdin. That's a good. It's reference. a better. It's a better that's look. A so pointy and twisted. That's a good pull. Paul. It's a. It's a better look if he's hitting two ninety. I'll yeah. say that. It's, it's yeah, a better yeah, look yeah. if he's hitting. Yeah, yeah. If he's hitting two ninety, he's a culture changer. <laughs> Where, like whatever facial hair you want. If, if he's hitting two ninety, he doesn't even have to wear any of the buttons yeah. on his jersey buttons. And if Jose Abreu gets above two sixty this year, I'll grow one. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> Maybe it's the new fanatics. Well, if, if Jose Abreu at some point gets his batting average above could, 260 this season, do you think you could do that? I don't know, but I will try. You, you I mean, you, you've got some some strong can, facial hair. Yeah, I, I'll, I'll try. I'll, 
If he gets above 260 this year, Your I will I will you. pull the Jose break. That might that might need to be something I fall on the sword for. You have, you have a <laughs> wife and a family, you know. I, I don't want I don't want that. I'm, I'm by myself. I, I can be the hero that the Galan and George show. Uh, well, you already have needs. The, dude. You already are the hero that we need because you had to get two cats because they didn't make the play tournament. I'm not. I'm not doing. That. I'm All not right, doing, so Aria will Aria will kill them. Jose Reyes hit two, over 260 every year of his career before last. Year. That's it, why I feel okay about this. Is like, it is it the fanatics jerseys? Because I mean, you know, <laughs> they're so bad. Well, because right, because like it's remember, too he, breathable. Now I I haven't noticed if if he's been unbuttoning the jersey the same way that he was last year. But I mean, maybe. Maybe it's the New Jersey. Mm-hmm. I'm just th- I'm throwing out all the possible <laughs> look, excuses look, man, here, okay? Uh, we need this. We need some answer. 